Hey everyone, you may have noticed yesterday that I was wearing different what we call vestments, a fancy name for clothing we wear in worship, uh, than I normally do. Uh, the same thing you see me wearing right now. And I've spoken a little bit about this on my blog, and you can go there at fathertreysthoughts.blogspot.com. Again, that's T-R-E-Y. And uh, I've spoken a little bit about it there, but I wanted to take some time now to explain a little bit more today. So this is what we call choir dress. And you'll often see members of the choir wearing something similar at various churches. So what I have on is a black robe called a cassock, which at one point in time would have been street dress for people. I also have a surplice, which is similar to the alb that we normally wear on Sundays. Um, it's just a white garment. It reminds us of our baptism. And uh, mine is full length. Some are shorter. And then I'm wearing here what's called a tippet, which is basically just a sign that I am someone who is ordained. Now, you'll remember, of course, that on normal Sundays, we do wear something very different, which I'll show you now. Ta-da! So this is what we normally wear on a Sunday as Eucharistic vestments. So the first thing is the chasuble. The chasuble is based on Roman garb. It basically says that I am the person that is uh, leading our celebration of the Eucharist. So underneath the chasuble, we have the stole. And the stole is just a mark of my office as an ordained person. While with the tippet, everybody wears it the same way, if I was a deacon, this would be worn um, on just one shoulder. But as a, a presbyter or priest, uh, I wear it like this. The alb is just a white robe. It is also based on what people would have worn back in Jesus' day. And it is white because we are washed white in the blood of the Lamb. If you think back to your baptism, uh, for many of us that may have been as infants, um, as infants typically you wear a white dress for that, um, or smock, or some other outfit like that. Uh, for some people who were baptized older, they may or may not have worn an alb for their baptism. Uh, these are signs that we are part of the people of God. So anyone can wear an alb uh, during the church service. And sometimes you'll see some people in albs, sometimes you'll see some people in cassock and surplus instead. Either way is okay, they're just marks of who we are as people of God and who we are in the service. So I hope that helps. I'll put a link in uh, the description below that will lead back to uh, my post on my blog at fathertreysthoughts.blogspot.com that speaks a lot more about vestments. Thanks.